for the second part of our video, we're going to see how much ice it takes to stop a bullet. To start off, we're going to have our Heritage 22. This might be a short video. That went... Went too mad. Dang. <laughs> hey, look, there's the bullet. Yeah. No, I can't get it, but... Is it in there? Yeah. Did it go? It didn't mm -mm. go through. No, it didn't. Because it's right there. The next one we're going to do is the High Point 380. Ooh, that one's It was sitting right here spinning. Right there. That's pretty cool. Well, it didn't go through. No, that's two bullets <laughs> I caught. Um, all I have to say is I should probably be wearing safety goggles. Here. Lean this one. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's easier to just leave them. Get your other. Our next one is our high point 9mm. Yeah, it took the whole top off. <laughs> you, just, you didn't catch that bullet. Our next one is a 40 Smith & Wesson. I don't think that ice block made it out alive. We're moving to bigger blocks because we're moving to rifles this time. We're going to start out with the 556 five, Diamondback. Yeah, it did. Next, we're going to do the 300 Win Mag. <laughs> you watch out, it might be hot. Oh, look at that. Let me see. It looks like a mushroom. Yeah. Yeah, hold that. Yeah. Well. Here's your three that you caught. Huh? Yeah, hold them in your hand. The 22, the 38 mm -hmm. and the uh, 300. That's a 380. My bad. Uh-uh. That's a 380. Oh. Yeah, that's 380. I said 38, didn't yeah. I? Did you catch a bullet or you just, it just 
kept on rolling, didn't it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed it, like, subscribe, and share.